Jason, I have a challenge for you. See, I have a heavy book hung by strings from the swing here. Okay. And here is a paper tube, just barely balanced. What I want you to do is to knock over the tube using the book and okay. a straw, but you can't touch the book with a straw. Can I touch the book with my hand? Nope. Mm, okay. Can I blow out the book? Sure. Okay. Go ahead. Why are you blowing when you are at that particular time? You mean like in beat? Yeah, you, you, you don't blow all the time. You only blow in puffs. You seem to be timing your puffs. I don't know. It just kind of comes naturally, yeah, I guess. Yeah, it just seems like it. Well, if this were a child sitting on a swing and you wanted to push the child further and further, when would you give them a push? Probably just as they're just going forward. Again, right. Well, what you're using is a scientific principle called resonance. Resonance? Yeah, have you never heard that word? No. Well, it's, it's a, the idea of something being in step. In the music world, for example, a resonator is the, is the box underneath the string, for example, in a violin. If you can get the box to vibrate in step with the string, then the string, the sound will be much louder. Amplified. Right, amplified. So that's what a resonator does. <clears throat> they also use it in many other fields of science. They also, in the army, when people are marching and the soldiers are marching along in step, they're in residence, and that little tiny step, if everybody's at the same beat, could add up when they got to a bridge. Oh, and then the bridge would crack and it well, might wash least, out or yeah, something. Well, it, would, it might. Anyway, what they, they have a special command in the Army to break step so that that won't happen. So they just walk however walk, they want. Everybody walks there so they don't build up that energy because they don't want to be in resonance at that point. So mm. you're going to use the principle of resonance, give the book a little gentle push at the right time, and eventually knock over the paper too. Okay. All right, here we go. Already it's halfway there. About one more, I think we should do it. There you I go. Did it.